outdoor food court. to another video. We have a special treat for you today. We are back in Panama City this week. Yeah, we're back in the city, but rather than take you on a tour of the city, we'll save that for another time. Today, because it's such a scorching hot day, we're actually gonna go out to Toboga Island. It's just a half hour ferry off the coast of Panama City. Beautiful little island escape for the day trip. And to get there, you actually need to take a ferry from the Amador Causeway. We just had an amazing drive out here. It's kind of a little peninsula drive. Gives you some amazing views of this Panama Harbor right behind yeah. us. This location, you really see the beauty of Panama City. It is absolutely gorgeous out here. And today, the weather is perfect for a beach day. It is a beautiful <laughs> view of the city from here. So even if you're not going to Toboga Island, definitely come check out yeah. Amador Causeway. But without any further ado, I think we should cross the street, grab our tickets for the ferry and Head on over to Tobogo Island. Let's get the show on the... Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! All right, guys. You probably noticed right away that we're not on Tobogo Island. We're also not on the ferry to get there. Unfortunately, yeah, the yeah, information yeah, that we had yeah. read in our research on Tobogo Island was a little bit off. Uh, we had read that you're able to jump on one of the ferries to Tobogo Island pretty much every hour or two throughout the day. That was misinformation. It's actually 8 o'clock or 10.30 local time that the morning ferries go. And then there is one in the late afternoon at 3 p.m., but we weren't wanting to sit around on the causeway there waiting for it all afternoon when we could come back and enjoy the city. Now, one of the best ways to enjoy Panama City on a nice day like today to hit up the rooftop patios. We had read that there's some really amazing rooftop patios, so we had decided for another video idea that we were gonna go to the top rated rooftop patios in all of Panama City. And we're not gonna do that in this video. No, we're gonna do that in another video coming out next week. So make sure to like, hit subscribe, and ring a ding ding dong that bell so you'll be notified when that one comes out. But as for Tobogue Island, we're gonna do that in the morning. So we'll see you tomorrow morning. All right, good morning, guys. It's the next day now. We are about to head back to the Amador Causeway and off to the Toboga Island. Unfortunately, the weather is a little bit more cloudy and I think we just heard some thunder. So might not be that sunny day on the island for. But since we're in Panama City, we still want to go check out the island. We're hoping we do see some blue sky over far in the distance. We hope wins the battle, but we're gonna, we may be in for a bit of a rainy day out on the island, I'm not sure. We're not going to let it get us down, no? <laughs> we're a bit down. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we're going to have a good time. And we're excited to go check out what Toboga Island has to offer. Hopefully, it's got some indoor activities as a just-in-case. <laughs> if so, we'll show you what they're all about. <laughs> all right, let's go. All right, guys, we just got down to the docks here for the ferry over to Toboga Island. Clouds seem like they're starting to part a little bit, so we might get lucky. Hopefully, keep our fingers crossed. <laughs> So we ended up paying $30 for both our tickets and we depart at 10.30 and you have to pick if you want to stay till 5 or 3. So we did till 3. We'll see if we want to stay. We'll probably get a charge if you do, but we'll see how it plays out. Yeah, we figured it would be better to play it safe just in case the thunder showers that are forecasted do end up winning this battle. But uh, yeah, we are excited to go check it out for a few hours either way we came on over to the dogs didn't want to miss the boat like we did yesterday yeah so. exactly we're here now um tickets are bought should be boarding soon so let's go mm -hmm.
All right, guys, we're almost there. We got Taboga Island right behind us, and the sun is coming out, so it might be going our way. We are so excited to get there. Yeah, it looks like there's... We're going to probably be grabbing something to eat right away and then also hit the beach. At first, we bought our tickets for 3 o'clock, but then just before we got on the boat, we noticed that the blue sky was opening up a bit more, so we got them to scratch that off, switch it over to 5 <laughs> o'clock, so we're going to have a full day there. We're excited to share it with you. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Water is so beautiful and blue. The sun is out. We are happy. We made it. Oh my god, it's beautiful here. It took us a day and a half to get here, but oh we god. made it. And it is gorgeous. Look how blue the water is. The water is crystal blue. We can see the fishes swimming right underneath us. We're just waiting to get through the security checkpoint. Looks like they search your stuff. Just make sure there's probably like guns, drugs, that kind of thing. I'm guessing. Ho hopefully they're not looking for drones. I've heard some horror stories of people having their drones taken away from security or police in certain countries and Panama is a bit of a hit or miss from what I've read and heard so hoping that they don't try to confiscate my drone because that would be a devastating turn of events. They did not have an issue with my drone. Looks like it was just guns and drugs and that kind of general stuff. Yeah, thankfully. I mean, he looked right at it and didn't have an issue, so. So it looks like you can get drinks there. Yeah, as soon as you get off the dock, there's a couple of drink stands. I don't know where to go. We don't even know where to go. I think we're just gonna try to find a good restaurant to eat at. Yeah, look over there. Let's go check over there. It looks like a decent restaurant on the beach. Sure. Awesome. Well, we just met a really nice woman from New York. Had some lunch with her here. Her name's Felicia. Felicia, if you end up seeing this. Thank you. Uh, hello. Yeah, it was really <laughs> nice meeting you. Like we've said in the past, one of our favorite parts of traveling is meeting people along the way. Sometimes they're local, sometimes they're not. And Felicia and her friends are here at Taboga as well, just on a little day trip like we are. And it's always awesome to meet nice people, so we wanted to say hi, Felicia. Not bye, Felicia. Hi, hi Felicia. Felicia. <laughs> <laughs> and so, yeah, no, we're just going to finish up eating here, finish our drinks, and then we're off to hit that awesome-looking ocean. Yeah, here. it's time to get in the water. Really excited. <laughs> it's beach, beach, beach time. <laughs> Go in the water. I'm going in. Going in. Oh, it's deep. It's like up to my chin there. It's deep. That's what she said. <laughs> We can't decide what it reminds us of. Jess says it kind of reminds her of Southeast Asia a little bit. Me, it kind of reminds me. With the boats, it's kind of like Southeast Asia. With the buildings and the way the beachfront is set up, it kind of reminds me of like a small Caribbean town or something. I was almost thinking like Europe, like, for like uh, Mediterranean when we first pulled up. We're loving it though, it's beautiful. Progresso <laughs> was really crazy. Like. It was like, you would just have it up here, and it was like... It was like... <laughs> so good. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> <So bad. laughs> All right. The 
just got you. Tide just got me good. <laughs> Still not in my mouth though, so we happy. <laughs> he just like swallowed I was, me whole. I, no, I didn't eat, oh. the water swallowed me whole. I didn't swallow nothing, <laughs> thankfully. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw his head go down in the water. Like, oh no, here we go. Oh no, Kyle's gonna be Kyle again. <laughs> what can I say? I don't like a mouthful of salt water. Who does? I don't either. Who really, does? I really don't. Who does? Cheers. Cheers. So, your overall thoughts? My overall thoughts are. Almost every May long weekend up to this point, I had spent waking up in the snow camping in Canada, and now we're on the beach on Tobago Island, and uh, can't ask for much more. I think this is a way better place to spend it. Way better way to spend it, that's for sure. <laughs> and I would also say, it's just been a real beautiful day altogether. I mean, at first we were worried with the weather, it was not supposed to be that great supposed to be thunder showers all day and when we first came out to Amadar Causeway it was not looking too good to begin with. It was looking really sad. Yeah we were pretty worried about it at first but I mean it ended up being just perfect and I think like we had mentioned earlier it's nice that it hadn't been super sunny and super hot because yeah. it may have just been a little too unbearable especially since I think it's still like 30 degrees today like oh, it's yeah, still it's 32 it's still hot it's still a hot day it's just that cloud coverage gets you out of the sun a little bit and mm -hmm. it hasn't been raining at all like we felt a few drops while we were going in the water but i mean we were already going in the water so it wasn't a big deal anyway so yeah overall it's been a really good day this island is so cool it's very um just secluded private like when you come in there's not many people at all yeah there's one other family just to the right of us and other than that we're we get the beach to ourselves and you never find that when you're out on a beautiful beach getaway paradise like this it's, yeah, it's beautiful. been awesome yeah Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> yeah we haven't seen wasps all day and all of a sudden they're just all over us so there's just one over there and you know flying or a wasp that was buzzing and she's gone now. Now, now she's bugging she's bugging over the bugs Sorry. <laughs> it really is peaceful <laughs> it's, it, we swear it's peaceful yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when we were out on uh, the, island, the monkey yeah. out, like when Gets on Lake, it was like trying to get through that video, it was like just bugs flying everywhere, but it was actually a really great time. Same like today. But yeah, I think we're going to just continue soaking up this beach for a little while longer and then maybe hit up the shops for a bit and head back to Panama. Yeah, exactly. Both of us have our eyes on the wasp. Yeah, there's a wasp like, right in front of <laughs> us and we keep watching it. All right guys, just had an awesome time out on the beach, soaking up the sun that finally came out and that nice hot, not hot I guess, but. Yeah, <laughs> it was still hot. Nice lukewarm yeah. water. Yeah. And it was nice and calm for a change. Yeah, so we just soaked it up, it was laying in the ocean, it was really nice. Yeah, now we're just walking up and down. We've got a bunch of these little uh, kind of souvenir stands and shops, shops all up and down, so thought we'd check it out. Yeah. And Grab a little knickknack, maybe find a postcard for our journal. And yeah, and maybe a Panama hat from me. Yeah, Jess has been looking one for a while, so <laughs> we're gonna check out these shops. I think you're beautiful. Is it cute? Oh, the hat? Yeah. Mmm. Hello. Cool. Hola. Hola. Yeah, I definitely wish we had to come down here earlier. It looks like they rent out kayaks and paddle boards and stuff here. I would definitely recommend coming down to this island. This is a yeah. great day trip. Savoga has a lot to offer, but I just mean I wish we had to come to this little walkway earlier in the day. We could have maybe rented a paddle board or something. If you didn't shower, we still could have. Yeah. Pretty Kyle. Kyle. Just came across this cool little like outdoor food court. Got the music going. <laughs> a lot of food options here on Tobogo Island. We only saw a couple restaurants when we first walked on, but if when you come off the docks, you turn right, you'll find this awesome little strip of, like we said, just little shops, 
Little outdoor restaurants here, little fonda after fonda after fonda. There's tons of yachts out here. Like everywhere around the pillars and there's like yachts, 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 yachts. Look at these trees, like. Yeah. Just came through that little outdoor food court area that we were showing you and came across this little like peninsula beach where there's water on both sides. It's a more happening place it seems. There's more people here. It's music's bumping, more food options. They're serving drinks right on the beach. The only thing is is we were wanting, we like that little kind of quieter scene to ourselves for a little bit. It was a nice way to spend the afternoon. And one thing I'll point out is the sand is just not nearly as nice on this side either. There's a lot of like gravelly rocks and seashells everywhere. When we were over on the other side, it was a much nicer, finer sand beach, which, I mean, obviously who doesn't love that, right? Now you, you'll see the dock right behind me here. If you're looking for this one, you just come off the dock, turn right, and you'll find that kind of busier place with the outdoor food court and all that. But if you're looking for that quieter, slower paced beach, once you come off the docks, just turn left and you're good to go. Why am I doing this alone? Jess just had to go soak up that water one more time <laughs> once we found this beach. Had to go jump in that water before we get on the ferry and head back to Panama. All right, guys, it's been a great day on Tobolga Island. Yeah, it has been, but before we go, one thing we've yet to try since we've been in Panama, our espados. <laughs> Got to try one of those, so let's go get one. Do it. Let's do it. Should we try? We're excited. We've never had a res respados? A respados. Definitely seen a lot of videos and pictures of them. See them all around different places around Panama City and whatnot. I think we saw them even in maybe might be wrong, but we might have seen them in Mexico. Huh? Mm. It's like a it's shaved really ice. Good. It's kind of like a like a snow cone, but like. To the and then max. it's got this like milk powder on, right? Mm -hmm. And then this like cream that you put on. Yeah, I put like a powdered milk on it with like a custard as well. We got the grape flavor, it's real good. How are your thoughts? Mm. It's really good. It takes me a second to like think about it. Mm -hmm. But after a hot day on the beach, yes, great, definitely. great way to end the day for sure. And I think that's it for us on Toboga Island, guys. Mm. We hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to support our channel and continue following our journey through Panama and beyond. And ring a ding ding dong that bell so you'll be notified of the next video. And until next time, bye. Bye.